Hi, everyone. I'm Rory Pyatt, Director of Web3 and DeFi Marketing at Chainlink Labs. And I'm here today to talk about Chainlink Rewards Season 1 and show you how to participate in the program. Season 1 is the latest evolution of Chainlink Rewards, which is a community engagement and rewards program that enables Chainlink build projects to make their native tokens claimable by Chainlink ecosystem participants including eligible link stakers. This process begins with a one-month allocation period where participants can allocate cubes to projects in any manner they choose before a final allocation snapshot is taken. After completing quests for the projects you're interested in, you're ready to allocate. This season was built from the ground up to provide participants a more interactive, choice-driven experience while strengthening their engagement and connection with build projects. In this season, eligible link stakers receive non-transferable cubes, similar to credit card points or airline miles, which can be redeemed for token rewards from the projects of their choice. To begin, go to the Chainlink Rewards website at rewards.chain.link. Click Connect Wallet. The first step is to connect your Web3 wallet. A pop-up will appear prompting you to select your wallet provider. Choose your wallet, review the terms of service, and follow the prompts. Once connected, you'll arrive on your personal rewards dashboard. At the top, you'll see two key panels. First, My Cubes which displays your total number of cubes and a progress bar showing how many have been allocated. On the right, Quests, which tracks your progress in completing the quest for each project. Below, you'll find a list of all projects participating in this season. Before you can allocate cubes to a project, you must first complete the corresponding quest. This process helps stakers have an understanding of each project they choose to support. With this context in mind, I'll walk you through a step-by-step -step process of allocating your cubes to participating Chainlink build projects. To learn more about a project, simply click on its card. Here you can find detailed information, including a description, the Chainlink services they use, links to their website, social channels, and more. You'll also be able to see how many cubes your fellow Marines have allocated to this project and watch the chart with the historic cubes that have been allocated to that specific project. The amount of tokens a participant can ultimately claim from a build project depends upon their proportional share of cubes that they allocated to the project. When you're ready, click Complete Quest. A short quiz will begin. Read each question and select the best answer based on the project's information. Once you've answered all the questions, the quest will be marked as complete and you will unlock the ability to allocate cubes to that project. Navigate to the My Cubes allocation page. On this page, you can decide how to allocate your cubes. You have two primary methods for allocation. First, you can manually enter a specific number of cubes you wish to allocate to each project in the input field next to its name. For a faster approach, you can use the Allocate Equally function. This option automatically spreads your available cubes evenly across all projects for which you've completed a quest. A crucial point to remember is that you can change your allocations at any time up until the allocation period ending. Return to this page and modify your amounts as many times as you like before the deadline. Once you are satisfied with your distribution, click Save Allocation to confirm your choices. Back in our dashboard, you will see your My Cubes panel has updated to reflect your new allocation. Each project card will also display the number of cubes you've allocated to it. And that's it. You've successfully allocated your cubes for Chainlink Rewards Season 1. Thank you for participating and helping secure the Chainlink ecosystem. Once the allocation period concludes, the claiming period will begin. For more details and updates, please refer to the official Chainlink channels, including the Chainlink blog.